My name is Diana Ortiz, I'm 28 years old, I work in beauty and I've lost 40 kilos. Uh, life before my fitness journey, I would typically wake up around 9am, wouldn't work out, overeat, come home, I'd probably scroll on social media for hours on end and I found that I was getting actually quite depressed. I was lazy, I was unmotivated, I was unhappy, I felt like I didn't want to go out, I didn't want to socialise with my friends. I was always hiding, but I was always, I wish I could do this, I wish I could do that, I wish I could wake up and go to the gym, oh I want to lose weight, I feel overweight, but I wasn't doing anything about it. I felt like my extra weight affected other areas of my life where I wasn't motivated, I felt I felt heavy. I had no energy and because I had no energy, it's like, so why bother doing this? I, I would ask friends that have lost weight. I would watch videos and be like, what's the quick solution? What's the quick solution? But I found out there was no quick solution at all. I started looking at photos of myself and I took a photo of myself in the mirror and I was like, wow, have I really gotten? this big. It was just one day I was like, okay, I'm going to start moving my body for at least 30 minutes a day. Doesn't matter what I'm doing. Sometimes it was literally like, cause I was embarrassed of my weight. I would literally just walk around the house 30 minutes. That's it. So then I started walking outside. I started going around blocks and stuff. And then I got to 30 minutes walking. And then I was like, oh, this is kind of boring. So I started jogging started jogging and then I started doing 5Ks and then I was like, oh, this is kind of not challenging me anymore. So that's when I started stepping into the gym. Small steps eventually equal big steps. Like you're gonna get to a point where you're like, oh, actually, I feel like I can do more. I feel like I can do more. And then you look back and you're like, oh my gosh, I did so much. At the gym, I do cardio and I do weights. I feel like it's a good balance of both. I would say don't be afraid of the weights area. Seeing people of all shapes and sizes in the gym all encouraging each other, oh, it's, it's really uplifting. I wrote down a list of food that I felt that wasn't benefiting my body. Definitely, I feel like what helped was seeing my body react to certain foods and then being like, all right, do I want to live this healthy lifestyle or do I want to keep continuing to feel bloated, to feel like my mind's a bit foggy? So that's when I have to choose something healthier for my body. Now I feel amazing. I'm, I'm willing to go out of my comfort zone and try new things all the time. You have to put in the hard work, but if you put in the hard work, it is 100% worth it. There hasn't been a time that I've been like, I can't do this, but there's definitely been times that are like, this is so hard. This is extremely hard. Like when I think back to when I first entered the gym and I didn't know no one. And now when I go to the gym, we have so many friends. When I started losing the weight, I had a lot of people come up to me and they're like, oh my God, you look amazing. What are you doing? What are you doing? It feels like you're dropping the weight, like keep going. And I feel like if anything, that motivated me more. The one tip I would offer to people to start their journey is don't give up. I wouldn't always say it's motivation, but I do say it's commitment. You have to hold yourself accountable for what you've committed to, that's what I feel. Um, I used to be a lot about excuses, but when you commit to something, I feel like when, you, when you're in that mind frame, you can do anything. The gym has affected my mood enormously. I have a gratitude diary and I always thank the gym for helping change my life. I know it's me, but the gym definitely changed my life. It is a journey. I didn't lose 40 kilos overnight. My journey did start in 2019 and it is still going.